This is where I create the class website so that the kids can access it and the parents can access it for the information they need. Most of our homework is now assigned over the class website and the kids are able to re receive it electronically, complete it electronically, and also submit it back to me electronically. So we've completed the homework circle in a way that's completely paper free. If we could get an airport for this computer and four or five iPads for our classroom, we'd be able to do most of our schoolwork paper free. These students are working on the morning message, which is projected onto the smart board. Right now they're using the word recognition tool. I use the smart board to introduce new uh, interactive programs that they use for practice and um, we also use it to show them how to use new technology. I showed them how to use Google Docs by projecting it on the smart board. I also taught them how to use Keynote. We used Keynote to create a measurement slideshow. This slideshow had music behind it, which we took off before we uploaded it onto YouTube. We needed to make sure that we didn't um, violate any copyright laws. So each child in the classroom adopted a rectangle, and they measured it to find the area and the perimeter. They wrote about their measurements on Google Docs, and when they made their slideshow, they were able to import their text. They also created tables. That gave them a chance to see um, the area of their rectangle. They had a lot of fun when they found out that they could have the rows or columns come in one at a time. It also gave them a real understanding of the difference between rows and columns. We use presentations like this to teach other classes about some of the things that we've learned. This slideshow was used to kick off a fundraising campaign for a local charity. As a school, we raised $3,000. These kids are able to collaborate on Google Docs at home, but when they're at school, they need to take turns and they're crunched around a computer. Um, they're very good at collaborating, but it would be much easier for them if they each had their own iPad. What are you working on over here? This computer they're on is older than they are. Synonyms? And you're using Google Docs? So, how's that working for you as a team? Okay, it's sort of squishy. Sort of squished. Yeah. Who's typing? Um, well, Logan's doing lips for Louise. Uh. Chloe's doing tongue. And then I'm in the middle, so I kind of touch. Oh, okay. So you're sharing the job of typing? Yeah. <laughs> this is my daughter's iPad. I've played around with it enough to know that there are amazing applications out there, some of them for free. I know that if I had three or four of these in my classroom, I'd be able to send my students links so that they could play interactive games. I'd be able to download applications that would help them practice the skills they need to learn. And they'd be able to create things and share them with each other and with me. I also know that I'd be able to download books and have several students be able to read the same book at the same time. These students worked from home to collaborate on Google Docs presentation programs so that they could create a multiplication slideshow. <laughs> four times one equals four. When you multiply by four, you double. Thanks to the high speed internet service Comcast provides, if we had a few iPads, we would be able to move toward being paper free as a class.